Gatlin, thank you so much for your time. How are you doing today? Good, man. Real good. How about you? I'm not too bad. Not too bad. I, I'm excited to get to talk to you about. I love Westerns. Uh, Catch the Bullet, no different. Uh, awesome Western. A couple, couple of surprises in there. Do you want to tell us a little bit about the film? Sure. Uh, it was shot up in Buffalo, Wyoming about a year ago. Uh, it's about uh, this man seeking revenge by taking something very personal to a good guy and uh, just seeing what that good guy will go through to get um, his son back. Yeah, it, it's very clear that your character, Jed Blake, is, is hell-bent on revenge because he, there's even moments where they're like, that's not the way to Mexico. And, um, <laughs> but, but, you know, you're trying to lure, um, Brit, uh, Brit, the U S marshal over, uh, tell me where, where did you, how did you prepare for your character? Well, uh, one, I just didn't shave my beard <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> two, I just, uh, you know, Jed is obsessed with regret, you know, he's obsessed mm -hmm. with trying to fix the past, which, you know, is going to ultimately be a downfall. Um, so just kind of getting into that mindset about, uh, you know, trying to grasp for something that's gone is 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 pretty powerful. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a classic tale of, of you know, just kind of if you're looking back so long, you're going to end up tripping with what's in front of you. Um, but I wanted to ask you, uh, you you obviously did quite a bit of work with uh, Macy McNulty. He, he plays Chad. He plays uh, the um, Brit son who you kidnapped. Uh, how, how was that rapport between both of you? It was immediate chemistry. Me and me and Mason, and then my younger brother Calder was on set. We kind of we were hanging out any spare moment uh, we could get. We were filming uh, like TikToks and, and just kind of like, like keeping it cool on set. <laughs> Nothing like uh, all Western guys and you know all dusty and whatnot <laughs> filming TikToks together. That exactly. must have looked so cool. Because <laughs> um, there were there was some moments during during the uh, during your guys' interactions where um, I thought maybe you know you guys connected. Would you would you say so? I would I would totally say so. Um, and I think that comes across of Mason's you know sincerity when acting. Um, we could have been talking about a lot of different things. And I think we were both very connected. And I, I think that read on screen a lot, but you know, he, he too feels overlooked by his father. You know what I mean? Like I feel overlooked because he threw me in jail and that was that. And his son feels overlooked because, you know, his dad's always on the job. So I think there is a thematic connect connection before the two of us. Yeah. I don't want to give anything away about what happens or whatnot, but yeah, I was, I was ready for a flip or something. And I was like, "Ooh, this this is this this can get really spicy really quick," <laughs> because all of a sudden it's like, it's like I hate your dad. It's like, well, I don't like my dad either. And it's like, and we just become best friends. Uh, and, uh, and he's the also, uh, also, do you think also also his 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 uh, willpower and his energy to continue to get away from you? Do you think that also helped in in Jed earning in uh, Chad earning Jed's respect? Totally. You know, I think Jed probably came in as thinking I have a little lamb that I'm going to lure the wolf in with. But secretly, I think I had another little wolf with me most of the time. And that was very unexpected. Yeah, you guys, you guys did really well, well together. It kind of kept that question in my mind. Uh, tell me, uh, were there any challenges for you during the shoot? They were just uh, long, physically demanding days. You know, a lot of it is a traveling film. Um, and then, you know, a top horseback in the summer in Wyoming in those vintage cl clothes. Um, just kind of like making sure you leave space to keep uh, the magic alive while doing all this, all this physical stuff it was just, uh, just, you know, you're walking on the line the whole time. Yeah, very authentic then, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Maybe I didn't have to do that much. <laughs> uh, so tell me, what, in your opinion, uh, what makes uh, Catch the Bullet stand out from other Westerns? You know, it's, it's a modern tale. You know, we filmed it in 2020. We filmed it um, during an, uh, a pandemic. Um, and I think that, you know, it's a modern tale in that we're able to see it visually of today. Mm -hmm. But thematically and story-wise, it's, 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 uh, it's an old tale told in, a, told in a new way, you know. It still has themes of regret and of family and of connection. You know, so I think no matter what kind of viewer you are, you're going to connect with some of those themes. Absolutely. You hit the nail right on the on the head because I, I find like Westerns, horror sometimes. Yeah, they're a little bit repetitive, but at the same time, so are roller coasters. But we love to get on them all over and over again, maybe with the new fresh coat of paint. And like you said, filming the pandemic, 
pandemic modern storytelling obviously makes for a good story. Thank you. I appreciate that. Galen, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Congratulations on your role. Catch the bullet. Uh, we hope to see you again in the near future. Absolutely. Nice to meet you, Emmanuel. Likewise. Take care.